working with people I never worked with before. And um, the extras in the restaurant was challenging. But this cast right here, you can't ask for a better cast and what they did. So that's that was the best part of the process for me. Same question, same question. Favorite part? Um, I think just now, yeah. <laughs> just now, just showing it, that was the best part, I think, you know, kind of choosing the music. Okay. Slide it on over. <laughs> Most it. of my music made it. <laughs> um, my favorite part, um, would have been playing a character that was, uh, he was like a nice guy, because uh, you know most of the time I play characters that aren't as pleasant. Um, but he was like an all around sweet guy, so that was pretty fun to play someone who's a little different than the normal character. My favorite part was showing my true colors and how psycho I really am. <laughs> No, guys, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I think I had fun throughout everything, honestly. I think it was a fun character to play, honestly. It could just be like a bit free. <laughs> I developed the craziness oh. in her character, though, just to let y'all know. Yeah, I credit to her. Credits credits <laughs> Mine was waking up every morning yeah. thinking I was going to be on the set. That's all. That was my favorite part, like waking up every morning thinking I was going to the set, shooting this. Yeah. Oh. So my question is, were you going for funny or were you going for drama? Like, what were you going for? Because it was, it was like hilarious, like in a good way, but was that what you were going for? Is that for her or me? Uh, all of you. Oh, oh whoever, sorry, whoever, I know you, you yeah, know, wrote, wrote something right and you directed, so. Oh, uh, well, I, I was going for a lot of the drama, but, you know, there's comedic time spots in there. I think she wrote it to be what it was. We just did it. I don't think we was trying to say, let it be funny or nothing, but obviously it came out like that. I don't know, but I don't know what she did. I wrote a romance comedy. Uh -huh. He directed a romance drama oh. <laughs> and we met in the middle apparently. So thankfully we laughed and we got the oohs and the ahs. So I think that's the perfect, you know, result. You know, I won't. <laughs> I won't close the door on it as of now. It's not in the works, but there, but a script exists. She wanted to find another director. Yeah. Now it's fine. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Go ahead, Isaac. Can you say the next sequel will have a "If you love someone, set their apartment on fire"? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Because there's already a song, if you love someone, set their house on fire. <laughs> mm. Just an idea. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> let, let's, let Stephanie answer that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. I mean, I feel like if, if there were to be a second part, obviously I would be ten times more psychotic. So, possibility there. <laughs> But this this would turn into a horror? Uh, oh, Asia had a question. Yeah, what? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I wanted to ask what was your favorite part? Oh, yeah. Say it again. She said the most difficult part in Billy Carter's. Oh, what the characters? The most difficult part in playing characters. Carters? I guess. <laughs> Being crazy? <laughs> I don't know. That's um, like the fun part. It was fun, I guess, but um, the most difficult part was, I guess, trying to um, act like a bitch, but at the same time, like, keep my cool, you know, not make it too obvious, even though it kind of was. But. The hardest part about playing my character. Hmm. Um, 
he was a really sweet guy. Um, I think originally, and I think we had talked about this, he was from not from California. And I think it would have been ideal to like give him some type of like accent, but I didn't have enough time to sort of like develop that and really be able to own it and be able to have it through the entire film. Um, but I think ideally that, yeah, like that would have been a nice addition to his character and to sort of uh, uh, set him apart um, from being out of town. Yeah, for sure. Um, for me, the hardest part, it's very easy for me to be like laid back and yeah, not be so lovely and nice. So that part was actually harder for me, even though I wrote it as an exaggerated part of me. <laughs> What inspired you to write the story and have you been in the friend zone situation? Well, yeah, it was based off a real situation, but very much exaggerated. Um, and also, it's a universal situation. Everyone can relate to it. So yep. the best thing, <laughs> the best thing you can do is write something you know everyone can relate to. So, like in most films, the actors gotta go through something that makes them feel uncomfortable. Was there any scene or part that you guys were like, "Ah, oh, I gotta do this"? You, yeah, you know, like the kissing scene. Like most people would be cool with it. But was there something that you were like, okay, I just got to push through this and get it done for the film? Yeah, we had to kiss a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. It was so funny. I was laughing all the time. They kept laughing. It was funny. They could blame me for that because I made them kiss a lot. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to say something. That's important when it was like... <laughs> I laugh for like 15 minutes before I can go and keep going. They was looking at me because I went yell cut. So... Uh, it was long. Oh, uh, well, the reason why I did that because I, I did a movie uh, before this and I had a kiss and scene and the girl couldn't kiss at all. So I was like, this time I'm going to make sure I see somebody kiss right. So that, it's long. <laughs> so yeah, that's all good. Yes. As a director or as a cinematographer? Yeah, because he was a oh. cinematographer. As far as director or cinematographer? Both. Go ahead. You can, okay, so I'm a great cinematographer, so I'm, I'm just playing. But <laughs> I think the hardest part was I don't know. I know. Yeah, which one is it? When we when we were shooting uh the outside scene when we went to pick up. Miss Cece over there. We had a really hard time with the lighting and blocking. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah I don't remember that either. Oh, oh I know that. Hold on, excuse me. This is my, I got the microphone now. Hold up. They've been talking to you all day. Can I get some? Okay, I'm going to tell you, the most difficult scene for me to shoot was, was the Nova scene, him, their scene, Pedro and Nova, in that little room, because I wanted a lot more to get, to get done with that scene that we just couldn't get done because we was pressed against time. So I kind of got an attitude and put everybody out. And tried to get what I could get, but I it couldn't. Was she wouldn't leave though. Just to she wouldn't leave. Y'all know I wasn't going to win. I think the hardest scene to actually shoot was the finale scene, not Nova's last scene, but the whole blow up. I think that was really the hardest to shoot. It was the it was a lot <laughs> of like having to move around and all of us like being in the same place yeah. at one time. I mean, I'm watching from the exterior, and then, like, I lost the prop at the last minute, so. She just said that because I, she didn't know that I was going to send Stephanie in there, like, that pushing and, like, that. I sent her in there. I didn't tell them to that I was going to send her 
in there pushing her, pushing on her like that. I didn't say anything. So she just was kind of off guard. If y'all looked at her face, y'all seen her all off guard. That's what it was. That's why she don't like that scene. Yeah, and the opening scene was a little it was a little difficult because yeah. I had um I had um floor plane, I had um, everything, but when I came on set, CC had everything changed. <laughs> so, I had, so, so I had to adapt and, and then like and then like redo everything right on the set so we can get the other. Y'all don't know what it's like dealing with this one. Trust yeah. me. Trust me, but she, she's talented, though. Okay, first of all, <laughs> let my 80s slash uh, co-production designers are in the back. We had to change it because the way it was set up wasn't working. So you got to adapt. That's true. <laughs> Can y'all stand up, too, please? Laura and natalie please and anybody else who worked on this please stand yeah, up we get them some get them some love yeah, i would like to say special thank please you please y'all stay them those are my ad's and they yeah. are beautiful yeah. and they did they did so thank you ladies yeah and, I like, yeah i would like to say thank you to him because i would not be able to pull this off without him he was my first stand AC. up where you at stand up yeah. yes stand up and he did a focus pulling and everything he's a really good ac so if y'all need somebody just call okay, him give me, give me let me tell y'all something about him who's standing up. <laughs> that guy don't say nothing. He does his job. I mean, he don't even say hi. He did his job. That was it. And, and uh, you got to give him his credit. He did a great job. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. He was on point every time. And he wasn't there the last day. And I actually missed him. I was like, where is he? <laughs> yeah, we missed, we missed you. So, good job. Oh, yeah. What's up to Darian? He's our missing cast member. He's on set right now. He's on set, yeah. Yeah, he's on set right now. And he brought a lot of the comedy in. Yes. And let me add that he got the role at the very last minute. Like yes. two weeks before. Because the last actor dropped out. And he came through with all the lines memorized. And made it his own. And improv game was way on point. So he's not here right now. But shout out to Darian Green. Oh, I got shout out to shout out to Julia Brock and Amanda who had edited this. She's edited this, and Julia Brock who was on the set. They're not here either. So shouts out to them too. Any more questions? Yes, ma'am. Cece, you know I'm gonna ask a question. <laughs> How did you and director Shante Tupu Jefferson meet? Well, our um, editor slash audio mixer needed a project done for her directing one class and she chose us as the actors um she was also my roommate and they were working on projects for a while so we ended up talking about the film that i had written while we were on set originally guy was the director and then yeah. things just changed up and that it worked money, out because shante was it was gonna be the producer and he had money to produce it i'm like okay see if you want to do it like go ahead do it because i don't have any money to produce <laughs> yeah, so, you know, completely, the whole thing wouldn't, uh, probably would have never happened without Shantae, so yeah. shout out to Shantae for uh, making it happen. Yeah, he paid for everything. I would have done that. So I appreciate him being the lead executive producer with yeah. me, so, yeah, thank you, sir. We wouldn't have this project without you, and we wouldn't have this. The thank whole you, cast and everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. I just <laughs> wanted to get my time. That's so. <laughs> all. Anybody, any more? Yes? How long was the shoot? Six days. <laughs> Five? <laughs> Two more. Four? Oh, yes. oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> we shot that in four days? Yes, yeah, yeah. I thought it was six, too. Be cool. God, put the microphone down. You thought it was six. Put it down. I told you it was four. No, to trust. I thought. I mean, it was it was difficult, so I thought it was like nine days. So <laughs> it felt like nine days, but it was four. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Any negative questions? I like negative questions too. Negative comments. Yes. Uh, you criticize our work. Yeah. Please. That's what, the first question you asked. I know. What, <laughs> what was up with the lighting when she came out and it was, <laughs> she said her God. Lighting. Yeah, she was blown. She got all the light. <laughs> she had to get all the glow. That was her moment yeah. in the light. So she had to have it. Just something we just tried as filmmakers. That's all. You didn't like it? Yeah. No, I, I thought it was cool. All right. Jasmine? Jasmine? What? Who did your sound? <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't want no more negative comments up in here. This is a positive environment. You don't want negative up in here. You gotta go. Security, this one here. Get her out of here. <laughs> now, listen, listen. Let, let me let me say this. Let me say this. One thing about about making films, sound is probably the most difficult department yep. that you can ever imagine. It's it's tough. It's very tough, and we still figure things out as we go along. So I don't want to put the person on blast, but we we just figuring things out. So I'm, I'm not making any excuses, but we figuring things out yeah, as filmmakers. And, and the person was doing like a lot of things at the same time. So right. Right, so that's that. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Dang, get her out of here, man. <laughs> Security. Next, anybody? Anybody else? Negative things, comments. Come on, no, David, David, Dave. Hey, you got a question, sir? Go ahead. You don't? Know? I don't have anything in mind. It's okay, sir. Tiny, anybody? No way. Yeah. I got, I okay, I'm sorry. Oh, C's. Go ahead, C's. Good question, man. I love this question. Uh, no, we, well, she she wrote it, of course, but as me as a director, yes, I definitely went off the line. I like the actors to be comfortable in saying things the way they want to say it. As long as it don't take away from the scene, I didn't have no problem with, with them, you know, we switching up lines. But if they want to answer that or add on to that, it's fine. Um, a lot of the actions were just came out naturally. A lot of, we did change, well, personally, I did change a few things. Just, I guess what felt more natural and like we took, we, um, yeah, we took a lot of shots. So we just worked with a lot of different um, stuff. Yeah. I know while we were filming, you know, uh, Shantae like would cut down a scene if you felt like if we went through it once and he felt like it was a little lengthy or felt like there was a little like, bit of like dead space in it. He'd be like, let's cut this piece out or we can sort of just sort of bump to this sort of space in the scene. So, you know, that might have happened in two scenes when we were filming. Yeah. Felix, did you have any script changes like on the run? Hell yeah. <laughs> we did, didn't we? Yeah, we were fighting all the time. I was fighting with Shanta because we were changing stuff all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I was changing. If it didn't work, then I'm a type of person, I'm a director. If it ain't working, I I, I don't feel it. We got to change it. Cece was real mad at me through that whole entire she shoot. She was mad. Very mad. But, but you know, I had to. There weren't <laughs> extreme changes. There were only, there, like, at the end of the day, there really weren't that many. It's just that our perspectives of what was happening was different. So how I saw it wasn't exactly the same as how he saw it. So, and then, like I said, I wrote, a, in my mind, a romance comedy. I was inspired by like Hallmark Christmas movies and such. So that's like, that was where my mind was. He was more like <laughs> dramatic and what's your directors? You know, he likes dramatic stuff. So it wasn't really, really that different. We just improv certain things and whatever needed to be changed right then because it might not have worked at the moment then we just changed it she yeah like the dramatic like she brought that flavor she initially wrote nova which is stephanie played by stephanie kind of just okay but she wasn't as crazy i needed her to be crazy so that's crazier. why she was yes only in two scenes. she was only in two scenes i extended her 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 scenes because i thought her her bringing what she brought was just it was amazing. It was crazy, y'all. She was crazy. Once she was, she was, she was hating. Once she, and my she favorite was hating line, that. She was hating My that. favorite line was in the bathroom when she said, "Breakfast, breakfast in bed." The best. He, <laughs> he, was in there he would not stop throughout the every single day. I would show up, and that would be like what he greeted me with. And like breakfast every in five, bed. Every five minutes, breakfast in bed. And I was just like looking at him all the time. Like, stop. I'm over it. Like, I didn't even want to see that line anymore. Yeah, I did it like ten times, and there was there was a time when she she said she said breakfast in bed is the best. Uh. And I was, I was I was like, no, I love it. I had to get this horny cat off the set. I was like, yeah, come on, man, come, can we we got to work here. I like it too, but damn, God, we got to work. Guys are too much. <laughs> Anything else? We good? Everybody good? <laughs> Y'all want to say that line? You gonna say that line? Yes, sir. Go ahead, say the line. Go ahead. 
Say it. I don't like you. <laughs> Breakfast on bed is the best. <laughs> wow. Oh, I need me a crazy one. What <laughs> We got a couple comments over there, right there. Yeah. I honestly didn't know the actors were here, and I was so in tune, and I was just like, <laughs> I, was like I had a mixture. At first, I was like, damn, what a stuck up. And I was, yeah, yeah, he I was, I was, I was called like, me a bitch for the one. He called her a bitch here. right here. He called her a bitch. I said, well, you must think I'm gonna get her tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, but then when she got all crazy, I was like, mm, yeah, that's. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, that's it. Right. That's it right there. Right, right, right. Well, if go ahead. I just wanted to ask, how did you guys shoot when you guys flew over Los Angeles and all that? Like when you guys showed the palm trees, Beverly Hills, and all that. Cause we had a two thousand dollar. We could just you be quiet. I didn't shoot that. I was, yeah. <laughs> you shut up. Yeah, actually, yeah, you shut up. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we had a two thousand dollar drone. Uh -huh. Nah, we didn't shoot that. No, we didn't. that's what you call pulling. We just pulled that yeah. for now. But was, but in the future, we got real. So we got real yeah, stuff coming yeah. in the future. But yeah. we, we just pulled that right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, we got a new movie coming out, and then we definitely gonna pull up this this drone shot, like for real, for real, because I'm gonna be shooting it. It's dying. <laughs> Didn't you shoot this one? <laughs> what? That was you? That was you? Yeah. So besides uh, Young Ballers, are there any other projects that you guys are uh, gonna be working on? Yeah, we booked till 2022. <laughs> We booked forty seven. You know. Now nah, yeah, we do. We got we got we got we got a lot of products coming. We got young ballers. We got we got something with Guy coming up. We got another one with Fredro Star called The Tunnel. So we got some things, me and her writing uh, as we speak. So we got a few things in the work right now. So we're gonna be busy to two thousand twenty two. I see forty seven. When and where can I audition? That's the question. So Young Ballers is coming soon, starring Fredro Starr and Ari Soleil, who could not make it here. But auditions are July 16th, literally next Tuesday. So um, if you can play basketball or at least pretend to play basketball very well, then come to the audition. Um, hit me up with uh, hit me up and I'll send you the info. Uh, so if you know anyone who plays the basketball and connect then send them give them the hookup and also if you know anyone 32 to 47 a woman that we're auditioning a coach as well so i am sorry in it but i'm not the star you won't see me in every scene again <laughs> but uh but yeah and, and, and may i add she's i didn't even cast her for that she cast herself she did herself she wrote it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah she did it herself. But good job, though. Thank you. We thank y'all for coming out. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, thank everyone for coming and supporting and showing love. We will post the link, God willing, tomorrow. And please share. Let's spread it around. Let's let's promote each other because everyone who was involved. This will this this is a part of our resume, and you never know who might see it, and you know sh that might be our way in. You never know. So all of this is a part of our resume. If you haven't looked, and you're a part of the project, your IMDb credit is up. Um, so thank you. Please share. Thank you for supporting us. And when you drop something, we will support you, you too. Pass the mic to him now. If we can say his and goodbye. if you have anything, yeah. we will pro, pro, promote you in Young Ballers coming 2020. Um, thanks so much for coming out and you know watching the film and uh, support is always uh, uh, lip a two way street. So like CC said, you know it's always fun to support people who are doing projects just like they come and support your work. So thanks so much for coming out here. And, um, what am I working on right now? Um, I do uh, these videos for this. Facebook and YouTube uh, channel. Um, his name is Darman, D-H-A-R-M-A-N-N. -N. Um, and they're like these videos on sort of like life lessons on um, how you can treat people better, just little things you can do in your life to sort of like make your relationships personal and at work sort of just better. So if you want to check those out, they're pretty entertaining. And I'm usually not a pleasant character, which is really different from what I was here. It, 
yeah, he was like, this guy was so nice. It was just so odd just to like see how strange. But thanks so much for coming. I am focusing a lot on my YouTube channel right now and like on my free time to audition. I'm trying to audition as much as I can, especially now in the summer. So that's pretty much what I'm focusing on right now. Guy? What I'm working on? Or like the last thing? Okay, so I would like to say thank you to all the people from my camera department. My first AC right here, thank you so much for doing this. Felix, thank you for coming the last day. And I would have not pulled this off without y'all, so really, really thank you. And thank you for coming for spotting us. Right now, I'm working on a lot of stuff. I'm working on like, um, uh, I'm shooting a pilot for the TV show I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be making soon. And I'm working on Young Ballers and on other stuff I can't really talk about right now, but yeah. yeah and thank you so much contract. for coming. <laughs> what? You in the contract, can't talk. Yeah. Listen, y'all, and don't, please, please. There's food out there, everything, y'all. I don't act like this party's over. Y'all get, take the pictures, eat the food, do everything y'all need to do. Again, I want to thank Natalie. I want to thank Jay for helping us, uh, Jasmine, for setting up today. Good job. Tiny, all day long. Everybody, y'all know what it is. We love y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. Stand up and take a bow, guys. Stand up and take a bow. All together now. And one, wait, one, two, and three. Yay! All right, guys, like they say, go ahead and eat that food. Take some home. I know y'all hungry.